I think of uh, creating a dish, I kind of like looking at different ingredients, whether it be something that's fresh from the market or trying to think of something that's relevant in regards to the season. One dish that really shows the versatility of the Vitamix is the panna cotta that we made today. The first component is boysenberry panna cotta. I use the aerating container. I look at panna cotta as almost something I would eat in the morning. So I think of milk, muesli, maybe something that's sweet. Begin blending on low, turning up to about halfway. When using the aerating container, it doesn't puree all of the berry together. So you're still gonna get texture of the fruit. You go to eat through, you're gonna find fruit on the bottom and actually fruit throughout the entire body of the panna cotta. Next, we're gonna go into the foie foam. Right. We're gonna start with foie mousse. Now that our milk is at a scald, we're gonna go ahead and add our bloom gelatin. I really felt that using the aerating container when making the foie foam just helped to make the mixture completely homogenous, but not over incorporating air into it, which is something that will happen with the blender if you go too fast. One big spritz. Place on an ice bath our foie foam. And lastly, we used the main blender for the plum sorbet. My go-to thing with a Vitamix is honestly just making the perfect puree. Um, it blends so perfectly, it basically will make anything smooth. Vitamix is the standard and it works great. I love food in, in regards to how it's played into my family and the relationship that we really kindled around it. A rice really adds texture and crunch. This is the boysenberry panna cotta with foie foam and plum sorbet.